the original Blade Runner is, is an absolutely pivotal film in the history of visual art. I was approached by Weta Workshop to see if I would be interested in working on this. The idea of being able to use miniatures in this modern context, that's very exciting. The story, of course, has advanced. It's decades after the time of the original film, so Los Angeles has been built up a lot. And then LAPD, which is the newest of all the buildings, stands above all. It's the tallest building in town. LA surrounding buildings, we've got about 37, 48 scale mega high detailed buildings. So each building would probably take about a week to make. Once they get approved, we run them through the previs and they populate the scene and then we start adding details. We hand them off to our model makers. The way LA is lit is it's all lit from underneath. There's like this, this sort of glowing city below that we never see because all these buildings are so big. Every paint job that we've painted on these buildings has been with that in mind. I always think of a miniature as a giant composition of tiny little vignettes, tiny little stories, tiny little places that all need to work together to make the whole miniature work. We call them little existential crisis moments where graffiti's been painted, lots of little details like that. We've gone in and distressed some specific areas to make the building as a whole look like it has that, um, that decay and that crazy um, weather from the Blade Runner world. We are locking all the buildings in place on top of these boxes so that when we actually have the camera running through the move, everything lines up. Pretty much each building has some fiber optic installed in it. Well, we're working in the, the preliminaries of the miniature build for Trash Mesa, which is an enormous expanse of ruined technology. You really have to have the feeling that it really is rusty metal and that it really is crumbling and falling away. Okay, shooting. 12 frames. Yep, 12 frames confirmed. Yep. Here's frame 20, tilt and roll are kicking in. It has all of the inherent flaws of filming something. Real surfaces illuminated with real light with all the issues of tiny specular reflections. The Wallace Tower, the bad guy's headquarters, that's 600th scale. In reality, that's about three and a half kilometers tall. At that scale, that measurement there is a human up against these pieces of concrete, it's gonna be a very tiny scale to work at. So we have to have to find a method of surfacing them where you had the sense that you were seeing laid up stonework, even though you actually don't. They're really bigatures. They're not miniatures, they're massive buildings. They're just stellar pieces of art. There's a lot of Blade Runner in there. It's almost a thing we say when we look at the footage. Is, is it Blade Runner yet? Not quite. We have to tweak the light a little bit more, have to tweak the model a little bit more. It's supposed to be a sort of a dark, stormy, morning scene. Now to do that effect, the easiest way is to break down the shot into a series of elements. We shoot the skylight, we shoot the internal lights, we shoot the lights of the little clearance lights. Then when it's time to build the shot, you have complete control. If you say, well, I want the red lights to be brighter, you can bring them up without changing anything else. So effectively, we're building a, a huge and very complicated sandwich that actually becomes the finished shot. There is a certain amount of magic when you just finished doing a, a shot. It took an hour and a half to shoot, and when you see it there, it's existing, it has a soul to itself. We've created a world in here, in Little New Zealand, on a miniature stage. It's really come together and it's gonna look amazing. Very cool, very cool, very proud. Every shot is a wonderful adventure. <laughs>